three, two, one. What? Welcome to the. Oh, yeah, we have to do that. Can't synchronize with our snaps. Uh, welcome to the World Genius TV Show, episode number forty-nine. Um, <laughs> we've got so much to to do today. Um. Wow. All of our previous openings where I was hope, praying that it was recording were way better than this. Yeah. I was just a little social experiment. What would happen if I stared at Johnny and didn't say anything? I didn't like it. And he crumbled. Yeah, I crumbled. He yeah, folded. I did. I did. He I turned did. into a little pile of sand. Colin, <laughs> Colin, what's... We've all been dying to know. What's Colin think about the P. Diddy situation? <laughs> Oh God! And I'm sure everyone. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't really know. You're but not we even have, we have me a up. little amateur conspiracy theorist on our wow. hands over here. Wow. So this is all just being paraphrased based on two tweets I've read. <laughs> You've read more than two tweets, buddy. Yeah, but I'm. Those are the two dyslexic. you remember. So, um, uh, yeah, P Diddy is fucking Meek Mill for show. Uh, <laughs> He's he's uh, Black Epstein. They're saying. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that, of, but people are. Yeah, people say it, that's what I'm seeing online. Word, word and, around town. Uh, it's a it's a whole thing. He's making out with dudes. Uh, <laughs> Birdman is totally <gasps> a is Bird- Diddy type dude. Really? Too. No, that's just. We've all speculated that for a long time because he like mouth kisses Little Wayne. Really. You never seen that? <laughs> <laughs> we can hear the sound effects now. I haven't seen a uh, Birdman and Lil Wayne mouth kissing before. I am oh yeah, Birdman. Yeah, Birdman has is like Lil Wayne's <laughs> daddy funny. in a weird way. Hmm. Uh, well, and he screwed him out of millions too. Um, Tom Brady mouth gosh. kisses his kids, so he probably just feels like Lil Wayne is his son type vibes. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't me, relate to that. Let, let me give you a little, slip you a little bit of tongue, Lil Wayne. I don't even hug the homie. Oh yeah, I do. I hug you should change Lil Wayne's we name might. to Lil Tongue. Let me slip you a little tongue, Wayne. Yeah. Why, why would you open with me talking about the P Diddy situation? <laughs> yeah, let, give us a warm up topic. I, Can we get some softball? Is it because I, 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 I talk about this stuff when we're working out? <laughs> warm up topic. Yeah. I saw Dune two, and I hated it. Wow. Okay. Cool. I went today to a movie theater. Did you and really? I watched Dune two. Did you see it in in, in on a standard screen? Yep. It sucked bad. You didn't go to an IMAX? No, I went to an IMAX. Oh, okay. Big cushy seat. Okay. I don't. Uh, I hated it. I I know it what the, bad. I know exactly what this is, and uh, yeah, you know I have to agree. I didn't like it that much either. Yeah. They psych at the end or something? Is that what? No, no, I just didn't enjoy the film. I thought it was pretty, pretty mediocre Did acting. Did you watch the Alt Shift X Dune lore videos? No, those are really good, man. The Dune lore. I just lore don't is like sick. Timothy Chalamet, man. Yeah, nobody likes that guy, but the fucking is he the main so guy? Great. What about it? Do you like? Uh, well, it's epic. It's... <laughs> There's deep lore, so I can just watch YouTube videos about the uh, lore. I do like that. That's, this is now um, a, a new fucking like uh, vi- category visually, for a rating system. It's like YouTube lore associated with the film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Five you get, stars. You get, no, that's you get go- bonus content. That is good. I do enjoy that a lot. It's like, like when I was watching Game of Thrones, like every week I would watch the Game of Thrones breakdowns and theories, and that was like the whole fun you of the like show. You watch well, the show, and you're like, Durr! Can't yeah. wait till this makes sense later. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be really cool when someone Just, explains it to well, me. Yeah. <laughs> the, well, it's cool because you, like, I mean, that's what's cool about Elden Ring, too. Like, even cooler than it All being right, Johnny like, a really lied. Fun There's game. no way uh, yeah, he, I didn't he go did see not Dune. see Dune. Okay, I was just okay, trying to get okay. you mad. But, yeah. but. Here's one. And one, I, one, I one, saw Dune. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, it was, it was dope. Um, <laughs> anyways. One one thing though, the the show that ultimately baited and owned all of us like lore and uh, theories, newbie theory videos on YouTube, bonus content type mm. show uh-huh. was uh, True Detective oh, season, season three. 
four. Where they had, oh yeah, season four, where they had like all these crazy like Lovecraftian theories and how this season relates back to season one, and they dropped all these Easter eggs. And just it, they just everything fucking at the end nothing happened well, cool. Yeah, and all the Easter eggs were just fan service. Like oh, yeah, it was I, all fan I remember service. that it wasn't from like, the season one. That's the same thing from season like one. The the people oh. that owned the mine in season the four spoiler. are the evil mine. Are the people <laughs> the evil people the evil family from season one? The I only saw season one, so I don't know what the mine is. Oh, oh they, okay. So season you, four you is watch like in season Alaska. Four. <sighs> Just you think it's going to be four? really cool for like a few episodes. It tricks yeah. you into being thinking it's going to be good. You're like, this isn't that exciting, but I can tell it's going to be good in the end. Yeah. It just isn't good. It in doesn't the get end. good. They, well, they full on cheat. Like 100% they cheat in, in the... In Who cheats? The, the, the show, show. The show writers cheat in the first episode. There's a red herring that in the end, they're literally... In the last episode, they're like... Then well, what was up with this? And they were like, yeah, one of the big clues it ends up being like, oh, maybe that, maybe somebody just put that there. C- completely unexplained, <laughs> completely unexplained. Wow. Like literally, it was like paranormal. It, it was chalked up to paranormal oh. activity. Yeah, they did make it. So the whole but point of the true detective is like. So they just it seems all paranormal as a, a right and they give yeah. you non-paranormal explanations for everything in the end, and. Uh, all the explanations sucked. Yeah, it was, it was. There was actual paranormal activity in a detective show, which I think is stupid. Like a big mystery detective show. Hmm. I just didn't like that at all. Yeah. And if you do, yeah. you're stupid. And I and disagree we were thinking about when we finished watching that show. It's a uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, hey, what's up, man? We're uh, recording. What's going on? Live. Do you want to say? You want to say anything? No, you don't want to say anything. You want to say anything? Bye, Doug. <laughs> Shit. They opened the door like a centimeter, <laughs> and I was, I was, I was looking to see if it was going to be Colin's head or Goog's head, <laughs> and it was Goog's head because it was right by the door handle. I couldn't tell because they would act exactly the same too. <laughs> 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 we'll probably have it's gonna be funny if Colin comes he does the same exact my shit. Nep- other Colin not this Colin. reference yeah. my nephew just cracked open the door yes um, his coconut headed blonde <laughs> nephew I don't remember what we were talking about oh, you guys were true doing detective. a review of True Detective yeah. season 4 in the that first fucking r- 10 minutes of this podcast yeah, yeah, yeah that was a bad idea nice um, one guys uh we could also read. Go get your Pacificos at Ranch Spirits. We, by the way, we could read the final message if you guys want to. That uh, my my arch nemesis from the Moist Shitical series left. Oh, like the four paragraphs. If anybody oh. is feeling like practicing reading things out loud, I can't read. It would be a funny thing to do. I've actually been practicing my reading out loud. <laughs> it's it's all about. <laughs> It's all about uh, confidence. Um, no, I read the daily safety sheet. I'm the best reader in my crew, believe it or not. Oh, really? Uh, the, you know, you feel all insecure about your reading ability. You're like, God, I haven't read out loud in years. And you're like, oh, I'm just... This happens to a lot of people. Yeah. And those streamers, they convince you that they're geniuses because they can read out loud. But that's all they fucking do all day long. Yeah. They read. And yeah. just read stuff. Like Moish Curly professionally it. reads content. He reads yeah. cringe hate- text breakups. We can do so this we guy just clearly doesn't understand the concept of when a girl says no. <laughs> and he's like he's like is still pushing it, which is like obviously really gross. And I just like thought this was interesting <laughs> and wanted to post it for you guys. So I guess that's it. See ya. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. For for those of you who don't know, Joe has been re- watching and reviewing Moist Criticals videos every day. I did for I haven't technically broken my streak yet. Yeah, it's been we could hypothetically keep going. I we I said I stopped. You should. It would be funny if I didn't just stop. <laughs> <laughs> if I was just like, I'd like to apologize for absolutely nothing. <laughs> and I came back again and just went for another Wait, week. You said you'd stop? No, I, I said I was over it. Oh. In the last one, because I was over well, it. Well, Joe, yeah, like he was trying to get us to come on and you do need a guest second win. spots. 
Well, the I had thing nothing is, to say that Joe didn't already the say. The thing is that I, 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 would, I think it would be nice to expand to other YouTubers. No, 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 I, no, I think no. not. They're, dude, who doesn't... You, don't you have feelings and, and emotions regarding Ludwig? Yeah. There's a guy... The guy I want to hit next is this guy, Eddie Burback. And he's the dude who does like the... I went to every rainforest cafe in the country. Mm-hmm. That guy, he has this video on Glee that I've seen like three times, <laughs> and it pisses me off. Whoa, yo, yo bro! Oh my oh, god! Like oh, Mighty Ducks Lord. beer right. brewery. Another X. person just walked in, guys. Crazy. Somebody made a We're actually guys. Sorry, we've stop. got all you sorts to of the people? stuff going. Say hi. Yes. Yeah, that's the other column. Is that going to fuck up the we focus? Should, no, no, it's on manual focus. Okay. We should mic this oh, guy you got up. The Mighty Duck edition. We should mic this guy up. Um. Yeah, I got gifts. Wow. Oh, cool. Shit. Okay. Gift reveal time. Are those of five percent? This is Collins, percent. by the way, you guys. Want this, you want to sit in this chair? That's next. Okay. You the bed is fine. Whatever. Um. There's also that chair. Anyway, as uh, yeah, <laughs> we set that up for you. Um. As I was saying. No, no, you don't have to sit there. The don't. Sit, it's not comfortable. The ground's probably better than that. It's designed to be bad. It's also weird with you sitting there yeah. now. I feel like our, our hey. podcast is being audited. <laughs> hey. It's All fine. Right. It's fine so far. Um, next guy I wanted to hit was Eddie Burback because he has this video about Glee where he basically, like, he watches, he watches Glee and then he talks about why the jokes are inappropriate but like he just explains the like the joke or the fault in the character of like the person and why that would be a joke. So he's like, so like this girl reports a sexual assault, um, and she doesn't even ask for the guy's permission that was sexually assaulted. Like how messed up is that? Because she wants like a role that this guy has or yeah. something. And he does like a whole video or, or a video like that. And I was like, dude, there's no difference between these like mullet mustache guys who are like you know virtue signaling and trying to get a bunch of female Mm -hmm. viewers on their youtube channel and like tucker carlson watching glee they have like the same reaction now (laughs) tucker carlson would just be like and so like and so a a a teacher touches a student and that's supposed to be some sort of joke (laughs) <laughs> like it's the same yeah. exact yeah. shit it's like you, you're just the looking show through is, everything with the 2024 well, lenses also the show is probably saying that's bad well the, the like, show the, is the, saying, saying that it's bad, bad and, and it's funny also yeah. Yeah. because it's a comedy show yes. and the, the funny part is that a girl sees that happening and is like I'm gonna get this guy fired so that I can get the main yeah. role in the play that's what's funny. The funny part is that somebody would be so self motivated as to make that decision. Yeah. It's like it's we know it's wrong. Yeah. That's why it's funny. It doesn't need to be explained. He's like, yeah. and she just does. And the other thing he says, I've only I watched like five minutes of it the other day, so I barely got far. Or I'd have more examples. But the other thing he says, he's like, um, and like a teacher touches a student, and it's just played for plot and laughs. It's like. In a comedy show, what's Plot the third laugh. criteria? What's the other? What's the other fucking thing <laughs> yeah, that it needs to to I mean, fucking some, fill out? In, what, what it else? takes place uh, in the school. Something's got to go down. Virtue signaling is the third. Is the third one? That's what yeah. he was doing. Yeah, no. but yeah, I was. I was literally. I'm like, this happens in real life. Believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Like, I think you should be allowed to. Yeah, pretty much talk every high school it. has a at least touching one, incident. Like one of those every four years. Every batch experiences one. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. There were rumors. Yeah, rumors. or at least, at the very rumors. least, there's rumors, rumors going around. There's some rumors what? for sure. Johnny's, Johnny's uh, brother's girlfriend was just telling us that there was like a high a school... Volleyball coach. Yeah, high school volleyball coach. That's always fuck, the volleyball coach. That's like I all mean, the senior chicks, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at least they were seniors. Yeah, that's... God, Colin's here. How, dude, Colin. How, Fun fact about Colin: How did you not get caught? He, uh, I think he did. did. I know, no, but no, I'm, maybe he did. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, how would you, how would you not like? How would you be okay? Or how would can, you think? Can we get Colin on the couch? Yeah, we can get Colin on the couch. How would you Colin think you could get away? Like you'd get away with that. Two Collins fun facts. He's huge. Three Listen, fun facts about Colin. He will, he's huge. Number one, he doesn't shut the fuck up. Number two, <laughs> he never stops talking. Number three, he's always got some shit to say. 
So and Colin's going to be a good num- guest number for the four, no, Number brain. four, he works with both me and my brother separately. That's a fun fact. Oh, yeah. About huh. Colin. I didn't even we're, think about that. Yeah, we're both. Yep. You just got to let that be the way it is. Um, so did you guys ever figure, Colin, did, you're in a band with uh, Johnny's brother. Did you guys ever figure out your band name? No. We're going to decide it right <laughs> so now. We're right here, right, right now. Evil trans. <laughs> or perhaps the earthworms. <laughs> the earthworms is good. Or, you should get Julian or in here and just get, figure it out. The Minecraft okay, bros. These are all uh, soccer team names Bro. that Goog came up with. <laughs> the Minecraft bros. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Put, drop that no, in there. Know, Goog said he's like, because I was on his team. He's like, if me and Johnny are on a team, it'll be the Minecraft bros. <laughs> But since you don't really know how to play, we'll just be the Minecraft bros. Whoa. Pretty yeah. good. He's a little, genius. A little insulting, but <laughs> no problem. You do need a, a kid-like brain to come up with a band name. That yeah, kind of. What, what are the best band also, names? Guys, what are the best band, band names? Band names are like all Speaking band You need to band. talk further oh. into the mic. All band names Close, are bad. not opposite of that. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. being a little make play pretend name is kind you of know what i, I think the it, band but... names really like depend on how good your band is too there's a thread of me on a skateboarding mm-hmm. message board now that somebody sent me today of some guy who thinks i'm a fascist that's really funny because uh my, for the mainly because i had a, a hassan piker <laughs> circle anti hassan piker uh well if hassan is anti f- anti fascist and you're anti-Hassan, mm. then you're pro-fascist. So yeah, I mean, I being, couldn't think of any if other being reason. Being a fascist to like means I hate Hassan, ass. then I guess I'm a fascist. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Yeah, kind I guess of it that. is like pretty fascist to hate like a multi-millionaire uh, Twitch streamer. Mm-hmm. It's the only explanation for that. Yeah. But anyway, um. Just got a pretty sad text. Googs is really embarrassed and came running out crying. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, he, he should came have, in. Whoa. He came in. Say, tell him mm-hmm. knock next time. Tell <laughs> <laughs> him there's a 1% chance that happens every time he walks in this room. So keep that in mind. Let's get a live follow up. We offered him. We, yeah, we said you could come on the pod. If I think you that's want, why. Dude. Oh, a really funny moment I had at I went to Goog's uh, first flag football uh, practice, yeah. And one of his uh, friends' moms goes, "Oh, you're the YouTube uncle," because because <laughs> as as a half joke, I tell Goog, so he thinks I'm really cool. I tell oh, him I'm a famous that YouTuber. Watch this. Yeah, I'm a. I oh, have a, I have a Big YouTube channel. He seems channel. like he doesn't believe us, but apparently he's telling. Yeah, he people. tells his friends, and then his friends tell their moms and stuff. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I am. I am the uncle that watches YouTube <laughs> <Yeah>. videos. <laughs> <laughs> <A lot. laughs> uh, my uncle has YouTube Premium. No, but but it's. <laughs> I mean, no, Google but, likes likes ads. I really that was yeah, the craziest crazy thing too. I found out recently. Dude, fucking Beatrix likes ads. Whenever I'm on TikTok and I'm scrolling, <laughs> and like I will just insta like not even think about. It. I'll just skip right over an ad, and she'll go, "Wait, go back. What was that?" I'm like, "A fucking ad." <laughs> It's like I was curious. That one got my attention. <laughs> like you like watching the ads? No, Google likes the ads on mobile games. Like oh, the well, ones I don't that, blame him for the that. The ones no, no, the ones where you w- w- have to wait twelve seconds before you can hit the before the X button. Oh, appears. like when you're being like fucked with while you're gaming. Yeah, but he doesn't remember a time when mobile games were like kind of chill, chill, like tower there defense. Were, well, any, any mobile game, you just uh, put your phone in airplane mode before you launch it, and then you don't get ads, as long as you don't need Whoa. to be online. But they can't give you ads if you're not connected to the internet. Damn, Joe with the pro tips. Life hack. This, now, this video tips. is officially getting blacklisted from YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get killed and like You know, a, if you want to like watch Tesla. YouTube videos for free without ads, all you have to do is turn your internet off. You won't get any more wow. mid rolls. No, I think a lot of the games now you have to have internet on. Probably. 
Um, I'm pretty I sure think, that's. How I mean, they get I don't know that. though because there are a lot of situations. Oh, yeah, you have to connect with, to the like, store. Clash play. Royale, you cannot play. Well, you well, play other yeah, people, yeah, yeah, but I'm like, true. I think a lot of situations. There's probably kids on iPads and yeah. stuff who at Olive Garden who don't have Wi-Fi. That's so. true. Probably not all of them. Very but. true. That's true. Very true. Okay, I, 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 here's the band. They name are generator. avid users of AI. Sex, <laughs> heavy metal, drugs. Oh, are you gonna get? Rope fall. <laughs> bean ruin? <laughs> what is bean ruin? Bean <laughs> ruin? Like B E A N? Have you ever been to that? <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Like anal bean? No, no, no. It's, bean. it's like a ru- like Are these a your ideas that you've come up with? Abandoned building. Like yeah. a ruin of beans? Yes. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> implying like a sexual act. No. What are you looking oh, at? I, I did generator? a band name generator. Oh, oh, you should do chat them? GPT. Yeah. You should ask Chat GPT to name the band. band. Chat GPT, help me sue people. Let me see. I didn't want to say <laughs> Horse time. <laughs> Horse time. <laughs> Horse time. <laughs> that's Vosh's that's band. Uh, that's good. That is good. Andro Grave Mist Witch. <laughs> uh, Androgynous Grave Mist Witch. <laughs> Kit Kat Brain Shadow. <laughs> Whoa, that one's kind of sick. Raid Shadow Kit, Legends. Kit Kat Brain Shadows. I mean, let me ask Chat GPT. There's, I hate all of these, by the way. <laughs> really? I feel like if I had said them and you didn't know they were generated, you'd be like, that's kind of sick. Yeah, because I like when the human mind comes up with something. Me too. Yeah, um, yeah okay. Well, that was... Uh, um, Band that was names, please. Okay, we should not be looking at our phones well, reading band names. Well, I got already looking at my phone. I got oh, gifts. Yeah, Colin, we can do it. Oh, that was a, a gifting oh. thing. That wasn't a joke. No, no. This is these, these are pretty good. Electric Horizon. <laughs> That's so fucking bad. <laughs> v- vel- Gravity Groove. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Where are you finding these? Chat GBT. Velvet Thunder. These all sound like old guy bands. I know. Like Lunar they- Lullaby. Echo, oh, no. Echo Chamber Collective is actually kind of <laughs> funny. Sick. That's kind of good. Collective. That's right. good. I remember there, there was a kid in middle school that used to come up with band names, and then my friend Sean would always go, "Oh, I just had that trade. I just had that copyrighted," <laughs> and he'd be bummed. <laughs> but I remember the big one that he was like super stoked on was Lunar Jacuzzi. Ugh, that's, that's so whack. Kind of cool. So no, you, it's so lame. Do you want that? Because my friend like Sean the, trademarked that one. Like one Damn. of the craters in the moon filled up with hot water. That's like what Moist Critical in his in his music <laughs> video when he's reading tweets on the moon and they're <laughs> making him sad. Dude, that was a good music video. You're st- show, right, us your show us your gifts. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Johnny, the shut gifts. the fuck up. What? Yeah, bitch. The fuck gifts. You, First for the birthday boy. <laughs> Oh shit, it was Joe's birthday. Sour Bright Crawlers. Whoa! <laughs> and Butterball Brown Sugar Whiskey. Oh my god! god. It, what? Butterball? Oh, they got open? <laughs> well, I I made sure you wouldn't die from it. Oh, thank but you. But smell it, it smells give it a fucked. Little, give it a little, <laughs> give it a taste. Jeez Louise. Drink Come it. On. Where'd you and get it, this? Give it a taste. So Simon, be rude. Simon made that. Whoa. Yeah. But that's what Simon makes. Just try it, man. What one of the things he makes? That's like the. Uh, it smells like candy. <laughs> I'll taste. That's it. the um, the oh. they're like fireball. Oh my god! That I don't. Is, I, I don't drink. <laughs> that is like maple syrup. <laughs> it's all it. sugar. You could literally put that on pancakes. <laughs> that is, that's fucked up. Simon try that. Smell try that. That's actually I kind of crazy. No, no. Nah. Joe, just give it a little. Well, give Johnny, a little sip. It's it's an experience. I'll drink if you drink. I'm not drinking. All right, then I'm not gonna drink. Okay. Dude, come on, yeah. drink it. I know. I, I, I don't. It's I, a sip no, of no, fucking... no. Johnny, what are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, I, I work. Where? Oh, uh, hang loose can... tattoo in Costa Mesa. Hang loose. Here you go. Fuck. We caught Johnny on the one day he's working, <laughs> and now he looks smart. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> in the birthday boy. Oh. Card. oh! Thank you, dude. Painting, painting. This is nice. Thank you very much. All right. And his birthday hat. Oh, fuck. More? Well, you're done. Oh. Yeah. (laughs) You're (laughs) done. You're done. You're done. Next for Colin. Anyone want to We have a torpedo cigar. (laughs) What the shit? (laughs) Damn. And. Light that bad boy up. (laughs) 
<laughs> just destroy my room <laughs> forever. It's worth it for the views. And a Pez candy dispenser. Whoa, Holy. which one? Paw Patrol. <laughs> oh, wow. That's nice. What do we do to deserve Show all this? that to Goog and then be like, it's mine. It's mine. Dude, Goog, Goog literally came out of a coma for Paw Patrol. Remember that? What? When oh, Goog he was, was all, in, when, he was yeah, when Goog coma? was all like messed up and like in the hospital and was like basically in a coma. He came out because they put put on Paw Patrol and he was like, Sick. <laughs> his eyes just open. Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to watch it in my mind anymore. <laughs> that is crazy. Is that it? Wow. No, no, no. Well, that's that'd be uh, like again, if, that's if, if I'm ever in a coma, just put on Moist Critical on the TV. <laughs> You'll will yourself out of it. I'll wake up. For Johnny, we have a Rick and Morty car freshener. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Let me see that. He thing. doesn't even have a oh, car. For the new whip. And a tattoo you belt buckle. What? No. Oh, Let me see. This show is a, show badass, all the stuff to the camera. Man. Wow, that's I, a nice belt buckle. This is a great belt buckle. This Where'd you get sick. this belt buckle, you, man? It needs to be fixed, but it, it almost works. <laughs> I Wait, what ordered do you mean it. It needs to be fixed. Go show the camera the belt buckle. Just, it, in the there's painting. like a little ball on the part that goes. Oh, on this? Yeah, yeah. But oh. It, you could just but it should work. Yeah, you can hook yeah. it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can just hook it. Um, and then for Andrew, we have Valentine's Day jelly bean mix and match. <laughs> and dragon sunglasses that are prescription extremely strong. <laughs> so it, if these match, it'll be amazing. God's plan. And wow. that's it. It's perfect. Oh, it does not work. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's perfect man. Too strong? <laughs> I guess you don't always know if it's too strong or not strong enough. If I put both of them on, my glasses still work. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so is, oh, it's, cool. it was too Maybe strong or too weak? Way too weak. Yeah. Too weak? Yeah. So when you have glasses, does, does your prescription just kind of stay the same for years Ugh, and years? It looks like it... looking through, like, uh, goggles. Does your eyesight progressively get I... worse? Your eyesight, uh, I think, like, you, for the most part, it, like, it has, like, a period of degradation, and then it maybe very oh, slowly deteriorates. So how long, how, like, if you were to put on your high school sunglasses, would they, or sorry, no, no. regular glasses, they wouldn't do it for you anymore? High school, no, no. But, like, I've only in the last, like, five years or something, I've probably, like, had, like, a, like one point or half a point total. So what's your score? I have no idea. I don't know. Interesting. I, I have no fucking clue. Thank you, Simon, wow. for the butterball. I think I might Thank need glasses you, after that butterball. That's why I'm asking. Blessings <laughs> from Colin. That was a magical experience. Yeah, right? yeah. what? I, what? I think. What made you want to do that? You guys got to get gifts every episode. Whoa. Yeah, we should have people I'd come like on that and give idea. us gifts. Yeah, yeah. I like, like anyone that. who comes has to bring gifts. Bring it. I like it. Like yep, Joe Rogan. Just adds another. Would layer. you like to come on? Bring us <laughs> presents. <laughs> yeah, well, this is gifts, part this of is, the this coming is like on a, is giving us presents. This is like a free promotion type thing. Did, is this like a, si a scheme Simon put you up to? Did Simon put um, you up to this? Give this whiskey on the podcast. No, it's a re-gift, but... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Well, this is good. <laughs> I have a feeling there were a couple re-gifts in that pile. But yeah. I didn't want to accuse. You know who's the queen of re-gifting? My mom. I knew uh, you were gonna say that oh my you god. And you know what? When she when she gives you a re-gifter, dude, she gave me a Union Jack coin purse <laughs> for my birthday. One of the things she gave me. And she goes, she goes, he's so she, li she, listens, she listens to this also, by the way. <laughs> she really? does? I, no, here's the thing. I told her not to listen to it. And so she'll like, if she's drinking or anything, she'll like kind of allude to something that happened on the podcast. And she'll go, oh, but that was the only one I saw. I know I'm not allowed to watch them. Uh, and, Shut and, up. No, I swear to God. And so she gave me this coin. She gave me this br Union Jack coin purse, which obviously she did not buy a fucking coin purse for me. It's like this big. And she goes... You can put your AirPods in it. <laughs> like, a, a case, a, a case for my AirPods that come with a case. You know what, dude? 
Just put... <laughs> imagine, no, imagine you saw somebody open a coin purse and pull out AirPods <laughs> and open them and put them in. A what? Union Jack coin yeah, purse. I, dude, no, <laughs> I have a dude, little. For Christmas, she's going to get big me is, a how fucking, big, how big uh, she's going to get coin me a purse. handbag to put the coin purse in. <laughs> I have a little Chinese uh, <laughs> little, it's like a four inch by three inch <laughs> little thing and I put all my cash in it. Uh, I have like a thousand dollars in cash in That's there. That's sick. Yeah, it's really cool. But mm -hmm. yeah, she told me it was. And for I just my, leave uh... it out. <laughs> and I'm no, like, dude, somebody nobody, can totally. Nobody just... thinks that you put cash in a coin purse anymore. Oh, oh, sip it through the nipple. Yes. I and by the way, guys, that's my that's my Vegas and poker fund. What is? Oh, my, back to my Vegas? cash pouch. Oh yeah, I just yeah. have like hundreds and hundreds of dollars in there. All right, should we hit another? Tay do we've yeah, only done us, two. Can you give us oh, like three okay, and okay. let us pick one? So hold oh, on, because okay. it was relevant to what we were talking about before the moist uh, critical music video. Yeah, you at one point talk shit on the guy that's he's doing the song with. Yeah, the guy with the V neck, the V neck and the ripped skinny jeans, and you go, "Was there ever a time that's like a whole fucking genre of dude? Those dudes are still They're, out." No, it was not. They're not still out. But oh. you go. Was there ever a time when this was a thing? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of just trying to roast. What him. was yeah, the year? Yeah. Like, um, it, it was like 2011. I don't know, but there's one music video that I actually want to pull up. That is like. I mean, it's just a terrible look, especially if you're like slightly overweight and you're just wearing a V-neck. That was and the whole The V-neck died so hard. The Jonas Brothers were the kings of the V-neck. It's hard to ever imagine a V-neck coming back. When was your last V-neck, Colin? If you don't mind me asking. Speak into the mic, please. I feel like with a V-neck, I might as well just walk around with like my entire ass out of my pants. Maybe seventh grade, but if I had one, I only had one. Okay, they and were then totally it was already... cool in seventh grade. So Andrew, don't for know. reference, I'm pulling up Attack Attack Stick Stickly. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow, yeah. They're like Wait. they look better than he did though, because they're not wearing like a sideways so, backwards hat. Hopefully we'll show some screenshots yeah. or something. But uh yeah. it's a bunch of skinny white guys with V-necks. V necks and skinny jeans. The and Dude, it, the the main guy looks like Morgan Courier. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, you're gonna get us copyrighted. No, yeah. no, they're no, saying no, Morgan no, Curry. No, they're fine. <laughs> if you if you can see it, uh, Love Bombs 2024 on tour. This can we this is what up? to expect. <laughs> uh, will oh be next ever come back? That's the question. Oh, yes. You uh, think the, it's, yeah, it's, for at some point, yes. For you, will no. you ever put no. a V neck on? No. It's a hard the no. problem no. with Never? the V-neck is mm. that the regular neck was still viable during mm. the period of the, the V-neck. No, the deep for... cut V was cool. <laughs> no shirt and is better. And the the V-neck v sweater was cool for sure. Not for guys with uh, a collar rocker script tattoo. Oh, that's what you want peeking out of your V. Out of your deep V, God you want if you had some fucking <laughs> only like, God can judge my if V. You, <laughs> if you had like, uh, yeah, some sort of crazy script right here, some. Nice Dude, style. I can't. I can't even find somebody wearing a. I need to type in American Apparel Deep V. Dude, put Jonas Nick Jonas V neck, and feast your eyes. All um, right, you want three? Yeah, give me three options to choose from, please. What is? Oh, we we. I posted a test of top my T do list. Oh, <laughs> you like that, Joe? <laughs> I yeah, I like her face. I can <laughs> see. <laughs> what do you like about her face? <laughs> Very controversial. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Um, <laughs> um, okay, so I did. I, I made a post on um, on World Genius time. about uh, which Lord of the Rings character. Because a long time ago, I made this like World Genius font over a Lord of the Rings poster, and I thought it was funny. And uh, I posted it up, and I said, "Who is who?" And I have the results right and, here. And, and, the and, and for I have the, the poll right here. And this is something that Johnny did only because he wanted to hear he was Legolas. And I did. A hundred times. And I did a hundred times. Uh, there was only four wrong answers. In Well, 
wrong answers being me not being Legolas. Oh, I see. Uh, I stopped counting at 14 Joa being, or Colin being Aragorn and Joa being Gimli. <laughs> you only got four. You were Aragorn, Colin, Gimli. Which one is Gimli? The, the dwarf. dwarf. <laughs> I think that's sick. Gimli's Gimli's cool. He's the comedic relief. At, at the, actually, you know, I, I saw Joa post that, or saw Johnny post that in her story, and I have our Instagram obviously logged in, and I was just getting all the notifications. I was like, this is so annoying, dude. Like, the first four people said <laughs> dude, I was Gimli. I, how is that not Colin? <laughs> Dude, I'm, the, I'm, the people have spoken. Who Just look the, up Lord of the Rings. Who was, look the, up, who was the other guy? Aragorn. Aragorn. Look up, Aragorn? Look up Lord of the Rings yeah. poster. It'll be one of the first ones. I don't think you're very... And the, uh, people said that Andrew was Gandalf, <laughs> and for the record. who are you? Legolas. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> that Sexy is an Orlando accurate... Sexy Bloom elf. Why, why, why does one of us have to be an elf <laughs> that's why or it's anno- That's why it's an annoying thing. It's like, <laughs> one of us has to be the dwarf. <laughs> Is there are those three are on the poster? Yeah, I think those it's are the all, main three all guys. Accurate. All good to go. Um, Colin, please, you uh, just shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> well, you guys always say I'm like a knight. Mm-hmm. Now all of a sudden I'm like a dwarf. <laughs> 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 Yo, you can only be three things. Um, where I don't even see this fucking poster that you're talking. Which it's, which, it, any of them? It's that one. Yeah, but there's a lot of people on okay, here. Okay, hold on, dude. That's Just look at the thing Why that I posted. Why can't I be Gandalf or this girl? Look at, there was okay, three, look at, there were only three this options. This is what I posted, Joe. There for were only three so. options. Okay, obviously this Lego, is, Lego at, loss is coolest. Look at, Lego this is loss. what I posted. And that's why Johnny did it. He's like, I'm a very oh, elf-like guy. Dude, I know. that You you really like gave yourself a layup there. <laughs> oh, and that from that angle, he does look a little like me. Unfortunately, <laughs> this isn't a real poster. This is like Johnny like learned how to use Photoshop to blend this together. Because <laughs> no. no fucking Lord of the Rings poster would exist of these three guys. What? Yeah, they, dude, they're the main they're the, three yeah. warriors. What about oh, oh, the main three warriors? Okay, yeah. have you seen Lord of the Rings? Yes, like a thousand years ago. These are like wow. The, I watch like that shit three, every other year. So these are the is... three guys that aren't hobbits. Do you want to be a hobbit? Would you rather be a hobbit than any three uh, of those I mean, guys? One, one guy said Joe. One guy said Joe was Boromir. Between being oh, a yeah. hobbit and <laughs> one of, a dwarf. Joe, one okay. guy said you were Boromir. But you don't want to be Boromir. Boromir is like you a traitor. Be Boromir. No, okay. Boromir is not a traitor. He just gave, caved into the the ring. temptation of yeah, the ring. He's just weak. Let me see him. He's stronger than most, most likely. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy has swag. Strong. Strong. Yeah, he's Ned Stark. Yeah, I'd way rather give into the ring and be this guy than okay, the can, fucking dwarf. You can be Boromir, I guess. Uh, Andrew got like. Um, Does this happen to Boromir? Gandalf. One Gandalf. Oh, I don't want to be Boromir. You Look got what happens beard? to Boromir. I, it I, looks painful. He died. He yeah, gets oh, yeah. shot to death with an arrow. Yeah, yeah. big orc arrow. Uh, oh, oh, Andrew no, no. got tree beard though, which I thought was fitting. Mm. Is yeah, that a yeah. tree? Yeah, you're a tree. Yeah. Oh, and ants. <laughs> Whoa! It walks around. They're actually called they're, ants. They're, yeah. Ants. <laughs> ants. Yeah. Sounds like E-N-T. a slur of some kind. Uh, okay, that's a pretty good one. What what would this guy be? Um, you're probably hmm. male warrior yeah. two. Uh, <laughs> no, you're like a, a, a you're from Rohan uh, or something. Maybe there. you're you're the oh you're like the what's the son of the guy from Rohan? That guy's cool. That guy's cool. You want to be that guy? You want to be that guy? <laughs> You dude, want to be that guy. Why uh, can I? Why do I always get shafted? The one in these that dies, dude. Because I don't people, know. I think you it's know, just, actually, it's not fair. I think, Colin got, got shafted on the last thing yeah, we recorded. Colin, he did. got it the worst. Yeah. Me? Yes. I, I remember on the the personality, the personality quiz. quiz. Oh yeah. Up on Patreon own. now, maybe probably. Yep. We Open fucked up. up. That I got. I gotta bitch. say. Topic change. So we announced our Patreon. And then we Joa did. just didn't upload the video where we announced it for like well, two months. It has yeah, four so edits now in it that need to be made. So now, so now that's a lot. We're gonna be that's basically if 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 that doesn't get cut, it will be like a, a two months without content. <laughs> this being like we're taking this seriously, guys. Patreon. <laughs> We're gonna start making well, Patreon it's content. It's we haven't too. released anything because we're saving it all for Patreon. We oh. do have we do have a lot of stuff for Patreon though. We have got like f- probably four or five videos. Just, uh, I don't know. 
daily we, time okay, lapse we should selfies get Andrew, of Johnny with his shirt get, off progress. I think animation. we should get Andrew. Um, Andrew, you should get like an apprentice <laughs> guy that you get offload stuff to. Where's, where's Peter? All my stuff's on time. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, like for like, uh, I don't know, just like overflow, so and we can intern? get more, even more stuff. Where, where's Peter? Pete, where's Peter? Peter, Actually, Peter kind of betrayed us. I did. Oh yeah, it. we have, we have his uh, tripod now. Oh yeah, we can't bring. So Peter we can't back bring Peter around because he'll take his tripod back. Oh, Last time we okay, had Peter okay. here, he took his yeah. tripod back. But this is a so different one of Peter's tripods. There's a tripod right next to the one yeah, you're using. That's the one I brought, but I forgot the clip. <laughs> There's a little clip. And it's just oh, been okay, standing okay. there for a month and a half. Yeah. I checked my uh, garage closet, and it turns out I have three of Peter's tripods. Andrew had three <laughs> of and Peter's I'm only tripods. Them in one by one. <laughs> you can't take them all back. Um, Waiting until he takes this one to bring the next more to do that. <laughs> okay. topic was really okay. good. Okay. Give okay. us another one. I, I have, I have, I have something that I should God probably damn share. It. What? I should have talked about this at the beginning. Honestly, um, yeah, Ryobi almost immediately rejected us. <laughs> what happened? Oh, really? They said, "I'm sorry, but you don't fit our current." Uh, programs, you're able to reapply in the future. <laughs> um, did you reapply immediately? I will reapply. Did you yes. ask them why? Maybe? I should. Can, we can Makita say you know what better. happened to us. Like, say we can I, change. I can change. Yeah. We can change. You let me know what to, to do differently. Okay, sponsorship? so basically, we were like, for like a week, <laughs> I was like, oh, we're going to get sponsored by Ryobi. And then we did a podcast topic where I pitched Ryobi and then Joe edited it. And it was awesome. And I sent it to Ryobi and they rejected us. Hand me that. Mm. But, you know, our whole thing was uh, you give us money and tools and we build content. Or, sorry, we build, uh, you know, like Johnny's whole yard out. Is that a is that Milwaukee? This is Makita. a spite product Makita. placement now. I'm but putting I'm leaving my maybe, Makita stuff right there. Maybe like a really janky Amazon brand that just like rebrands tools. Mm, maybe you could like get Chinese? them. Yeah, yeah. Get them and just get tools from that. Okay. We'd like to thank our, our 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 new sponsor, the government of China. I'd be like, hey, hey, tool. The country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Hey, hey, that's if that's not a thing, tool. I want to start that. Genius, really. All right, more topics. Okay, us, please. I'm crashing from big, those gummy worms. Okay, big, big right. scheme. You weren't supposed to. Eat uh, those. Big, no. big scheme that I've cr- concocted to get a certain one of our friends back in town. Okay, Ooh. that's so a good topic. Does his name start with an R? Yep, yep. Um, uh, I've got a little thing about how in the olden days, artists used to be executed. If they went against like the government and stuff like that, it still happens. If you like, and I'd like that to happen. I'd like to bring that back. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So you're a fascist. Yes. Um, a little thing about Niagara Falls. Okay. Why don't you just do one of the topics? What was the first one that sounded good? Rodrigo thing. Yeah. Tell Uh, us how that works. All right. Uh I've got to play another one. So we've we've had an estranged Uh, friend. Um, our friend kind of switched up on us for a chick and moved to Chicago. There's a rap song about it. Yeah. He dipped out real quick. Um, And now they're not together and he's just in Chicago with no friends. And I... We don't and, know that. And we I miss him a lot. We actually don't know we don't what his know life that. is like at he all. He might be better off. Okay. Well, I don't really care. I miss we, him. Which so, would hurt our feelings if he was doing well. Yeah. But. My big <laughs> scheme is... I was watching Catfish. So I want a Catfish Rodrigo. Uh-huh. Get him to fall in love with some girl version of us. We tell him, oh, move to California. I actually, I can't believe we actually live in the same... We used to live in the same place. Move back here. We get him to move back mm. and meet up with this chick mm-hmm. at a Panera Bread or something like that. And it's just us three sitting there at a table, and okay. Rodrigo comes in. We workshopped it us. a little bit where this girl's actually real, and we get her 
we have to know somebody in real life and borrow their selfies and stuff to send to him. We get her <clears throat> to show up to the Panera Bread, and then like maybe once she sits down at the table, she just goes ew, and then she gets up and leaves, and then we walk in what? and we go and we so so it doesn't look like a sting, and so we all just walk in and we go by Rodrigo, chance. Rodrigo, what are you doing here? Rodrigo's in town, and he's, and he's gonna be all sad. But then we'll walk in and we'll make him. We'll build we'll make him, him up. feel better. You got to break him down and to build him up. Yeah, all right. I have an we'll idea. come in when he's at his most vulnerable. Andrew and he'll latch on. This is us. totally Thumbs up fucked. Or th yeah, so this is this is exactly why he left us. First of all, <laughs> second, <laughs> second of all, second of all, I got an idea. I say, <laughs> I say, Rod, I, I say, I make a group chat. I say, I'm getting married. It's bachelor's weekend. And Rodrigo's one of the bachelors in the bachelor trip. And he kind of has to come because that's a fucked up it, thing to go. It's just us all holding a giant <laughs> net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, well, we all do my, a bachelor's weekend in Chicago. And we go to him. <laughs> and my whole the whole weekend, we're just hunting for him. <laughs> <laughs> I like the you idea. Of I like the idea of finding somebody and using clues to, or on our social media. <laughs> put up like a missing person, like, on, on <laughs> Any information on Rodrigo? Dude, imagine him seeing like a missing person for himself. He'd be like, what, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he would be pissed. That's why he left us because yeah. we did stuff like this. Well, yeah. this is kind of. I feel like it's what, what drove Mikey away from us as well. <sighs> um, great podcast guest, though. Rodrigo? Rodrigo? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Dude, iconic Rodrigo He might moment. end the podcast because he would just be so good. <laughs> <laughs> He'd we end our careers. Um, Start his own. He, uh, we were in my dad's back room one time and he was... I think he like killed like a bottle of whiskey or something. <laughs> and it was the... Uh, you guys know the What Say Ye Boy video? I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. where he... He kills a bottle of whiskey and then he goes, "What say ye, boy?" And then he like passed out like two <laughs> minutes later. I like when I put like the Fellowship of the Rings sound on one time or the song on, and uh, the Shire sound. And he says, "Dude, this song's so burnt out." That's <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> You burnt out, <laughs> burnt out the shire song. <laughs> like that's like like at, at this time I was like what somebody would say about like Good Kid, Mad City or something like that. Like you do that album's good, but it got burnt out. He's like the shire song's just so burnt, dude. <laughs> I love him so, so much. Funny. Uh, missing, can I have a beer, please? missing uh, the yes. bits. Do you, you know what? Those look a little heavy for me. They're fives. You can try it. And you don't. You got to talk into the mic, man. And throw it away if you want. Did you? You, gotta talk um, you can take a sip and throw it away if you want. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit brand loyal. I don't want our potential sponsors to think I might this switch up. This is fucked up. up, dude. He brought you these and you're not I know, I know. I, I, brought I, I believe him. That's good. You tried but the... Look I'm, how cool you tried the, the logo ball. Is, I, No, no, no. I'm superstitious that if I start mixing different beers together, it enhances the hangover. Um, oh, okay. Now, next topic. Hmm. We want to get old weed somehow. Does anyone oh, know how yeah, to get yeah. old this weed? Something we have old oh, you have old weed? Yeah, I know what we could okay. do. Colin solved our problem. Could, uh, which we... also Simon's dad made in Arizona. Really? And oh. it's bad? <laughs> it, it's, it's like not strong? No, no I, have it, a, I, I think have it idea. was like nice. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. But we need to talk about why we want old weed. Can, can I? We need to circle back to the beginning. <laughs> why? Because because everything else we were talking strong? about weed the how other about day. We, we buy new weed and we leave it outside in the sun for like, for like yeah. how about two and we, a half buy, weeks. we buy new weed and we reverse engineer it into all the we weed. take all the crystals we off it. of it we breed all the crystals and purples and oranges wow. out of the weed and we just <laughs> undo 30 Through years a scrutinizing of scrutinizing scientific progress <laughs> yeah. we reduce the potency drastically. so basically we were talking about you know now that we're like fitness enthusiasts booze doesn't really fit with the lifestyle unfortunately being hungover will ruin your whole fitness. If you're trying to work out every day or five days a week or six days a week, then you're kind of fucked if you drink, <laughs> especially the way we do. <laughs> and uh, so weed is obvious, the, the obvious solution. 
Mm. But I'm just not a fan of no crystally uh, fuck with my mindy weed. And I get it. Like, that's like a. Uh, I'm not. It's not because I'm insecure that's or no, anything. That's, that's, that's I just weed don't want to get high like mm. that. That's drug addicts weed. Uh, it, they over engineered weed. That's a fact. When you're like <laughs> fucking 15, it's awesome just to get obliterated. But when you have a job <laughs> and stuff, you just want a nice high, right? That's it's yeah. like a beer. I want I want weed to be a beer level of drug yeah, where They're, I can like smoke it throughout the. I have night a whole every time like, I come into contact with weed, I have an entire fucking crisis of my whole <laughs> yeah, ex- life <laughs> every time like the last 10 times each time i have just like it ends with me going like what the fuck am i doing what the fuck am i doing like i'm wasting my fucking time like i don't know what is when like, is this over I, when is yeah, yeah it's just i don't even know what i want to change really i just am like to convince myself i'm really unhappy with, with the way everything is going for me <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll wake up the next day and be like, what the fuck? That was fucking crazy. I'm never smoking weed again. Because it literally is like not suicidal levels, but like if I had to have three days in a row like that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I like the idea of hiring like an herbalist or something for 20 years to create like well, yeah. well we've all weed. seen the pictures of what weed looked like in like 1970, right? Mm. It just mm. looks like fucking. It's well, barely we, we even used to green. Smoke that 70s it's, weed, and we did, we did. We'll it, talk my, about my mom's ex boyfriend's now Rip Frank. Um, uh, Pete Frank's in heaven right now. He would have. He had a mini fridge in this <laughs> in his room, and this mini fridge had all sorts of delicacies <laughs> inside of it. It had the the weed cookies. That oh, had God. the cow on those the front of them. Those obliterated me. Those and obliterated those, me. dude, those were a fucking roll <laughs> of the dice, man. Like you, you could those have a like, kind of good time. Two hours later, you're not high, and then you just keep eating them, and then you're high for. I remember hours. the taste, dude. I, I still the peanut butter cookie taste. <laughs> oh, Holy God. nightmares, dude. <laughs> One time, my mom had a bunch of people over and like, <laughs> like kind of frostbitten. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And she she had a bunch of people over, and uh, yeah, I like this is the wor- one of the worst weed memories I ever had. Is I I went in the sh- I think I've told you guys this before, but like I was in the shower and I had to keep closing my eyes and looking at different stuff because <laughs> if I looked at any object for more than a second, it would scare me. <laughs> uh, so I literally I was doing this. I was doing like. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't. I also I couldn't. Dude, I couldn't keep my I'm eyes closed okay, either, okay. though, because that was had, scary you, too. But, it, but if you so had, <laughs> if you had that experience as an adult, it would just <laughs> like you would fucking like it ruined your whole fucking yeah. month. If I was yeah, if now if I, the last time I smoked weed, I was bad for like eight days. Everything was on wire. I remember wrong. that. Everything was fucked. We have taxes and. Things it that just are doesn't work for we me anymore. We got really high on Fourth of July. Did I, I did? We did. I'm gonna go peace. Really? I'm sorry. Guys. Yeah. I, here? No, at Collins. I got high oh. at Collins. Yeah, we I did. Didn't smoke weed. Yes, at we Collins. did. Yes, we did. Backyard. I don't. Last time I got high was here, and it's when I came up with the ping pong no countsies. <laughs> <laughs> where if somebody makes it in ping pong you can beer pong. you can over beer pong you can override it by doing a dumb dance and get because it the joke is like there's so many stupid rules, rules in beer pong in beer pong where it's like oh volcano heating up like oh back to back island <laughs> and everybody disagrees about the rules so somebody just made a sh- uh, thing and i i went like this i went no count C's. Like, that was a fucking rule. And it was because I was high. And I, I thought that was really fucking funny. It was at the time. funny. It was and funny. And we do, and it, no count C's has been a thing. No, ever no since. count C's. Yeah. No or count, count, C's. count C's is also a thing. Yeah. You can you reverse you the can, no count C's. You can go count C's. <laughs> if you miss, you can miss and go <laughs> count C's. <laughs> <laughs> oh man we, we did like a super mario bro oh yeah we were like in <laughs> in, in synchron yeah. synchronicity yeah that was counties d- weed does have like a capacity to really like bring bring some people. create yeah. creative shit like opens up new doorways or pathways in your brain mm-hmm. but it's i i wish i could do it without the negative side well, effects weed is cool too because 
it's uh, <laughs> it's an experience <laughs> enhancer. You know what I mean? Like booze is cool. Like I I really honestly couldn't even tell you why booze is cool. It just is. Once you're physically addicted to it, it just loosens you up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It just loosens Precisely. you up. Precisely. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes you weed, get too when, loose. Uh, sometimes. But yeah. weed. So Johnny, you're when not. You're, you're, oh, sorry, Colin. Continue. Weed. Weed, when done right, can give you some of the best memories you've ever That's had true. in your life. That's true. Why are you not drinking, Johnny? I went on like a two day drinking extravaganza and went to do today today they do uh drinking extravaganza fell in love fell in love ruined that love Mm. and uh (laughs) and and i went to uh that was also that was even me laughing honestly oh that sucks (laughs) And no, it was, went no, to I'm fucking uh, Universal Studios, just hammered <laughs> drunk, and it, like it was just butter beer. It had butter beer. It just and that place sucks. It was like fun. I totally sat that one out. But I, I did just like can't... I did a small amount of drugs the first night of this mm-hmm. two day bender for Johnny, and uh, I was just ex- having like an existential crisis for like twelve hours. Mm. It was crazy. I just yeah. I'm re- I think I'm done with all drugs besides booze. Okay, what what else happened, Johnny? But I just like I can't be uh, I can't um be cringe. Yeah, you told me yeah. Johnny told me he was being cringe. Yeah, and he and he doesn't want to be. Cringe. I don't want to be cringe ever again. He was know? cringe because of mm. drinking. Yeah, I was like just too waste. I was like too wasted at at fucking Universal Studios. You think you turned her off, bruh? Probably, yeah. How about your other friends that you were meeting up with? Do you think you turned them away too? Probably, yeah. Huh. Probably everyone was probably not super happy to be around me. Well, drinking's like the room. Except for Faith. Me and Faith had a great time, but me and Faith were just obliterated drunk all, yeah. all day long. The alcohol is the reverse of, of weed, where when you're high on weed, you think everybody hates you. Yeah. But then alcohol, it's like after yeah. you were high, you're like, everyone hated me. Yeah, so I can't ever be cringe again. So, so I we can't need drink. We need Damn. weed from 1970. It's yeah. the only fucking solution. <laughs> and did you you guys have talked about Frank's weed, right? You we talked about yeah. cookies, but you talked about the well, weed Frank's, was like straight up just Frank's fucking Frank's weed was was like freeze-dried like <laughs> No moisture on it whatsoever. <laughs> and he would have it in these containers that were about this tall and they were purple and like slightly transparent. And they would you'd they would be like on vines pretty much, where you'd like it would be on a it would be on a big stem uh-huh. and then you'd break one of the smaller stems off the big stem uh-huh. and then yeah, it was like straight up like tumbleweed. Up. Let's just yeah. say from it didn't, the plant. The bowl didn't cherry. You know what I mean? Uh, not, like that no, shit just it was, it, just, it was gone. It was rare if it cherried. <laughs> what is it was uh, rare as fuck? Colin's looking like he has a solution for us. Okay, oh, you have had one for a while now. No, you just have to grow it yourself yeah. outside. Poorly. Uh, no, no <laughs> can't uh, do that. No arf- artificial light. And then you just hold on to it for six months, and oh. then you smoke it. You have to put it under your bed. <laughs> yeah, I've been put growing it under potatoes. Maybe put it in a I, mini fridge. I've been growing. Oh, that's the it, perfect it condition. It can't be a normal sized fridge. Has to be a mini fridge. Yeah. Be, yeah. Yeah. I have a fridge. wine fridge. That would probably do it. That that I work. feel like it would come out like it, it needs different. to be real cold, like okay. ice. Pots. I have two mini fridges in in my apartment. Perfect. So one of them will be for our them aging weed our fridge. weed, <laughs> dry aging our I, weed. Well, I actually want to pickle <laughs> stuff too. De- I've humidifier? wanted to pickle stuff for oh, a while, so I can our weed? I can pickle space thing. Weed. I can have a mini fridge for pickling and uh, weed. Oh, I think you're gonna pickle our weed. I don't think you should put anything besides weed in the mini fridge, unless Why? it's other weed cookies and stuff. Because the only thing Frank put in that fridge was <laughs> dog <laughs> food. It was canned dog food, beer, and weed. That's it. That's the only thing you can... You Everything in that environment will affect the outcome of the weed. Mm. 
So it needs to be a pristine environment in there. But if you put an edible cookie is there any... in the mini fridge, it makes them stronger. Yeah, yeah. No, that can go in there for <laughs> yeah. sure. But what it, it we could also way. do is we could break into that house and extract the mini fridge so that we are certain it that might we could still have... Is the house like it. untouched? No, there. I don't know it's who not, lives in it. It hasn't been resold, but it's still in the fam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't know who lives there, but... Somebody's living off Frank. I don't know if it is so, or not, but... Anyways, <sighs> yeah. Uh, we need to. Is there any way your mom would know where Frank got his bud, and we can go knock on their door? Uh, I Toledo. I have an idea, but I don't want to start saying a bunch of names. Oh. But I do think <laughs> on it was somebody uh, local on, in the neighborhood. On the po- like, we could probably get to the bottom of that off the pod. If you guys are really serious wow. about buying bad <laughs> weed. Well, okay. I, li- I do like the idea of well, growing it. What if we it. buy a Craigslist <laughs> posting too for bad weed? I so should grow it behind how the shed. Do you, how do you plant weed? Like, is there a seed involved? You start it small. You no you, no, no no. Like, if yeah. I bought some bud, like if I bought a container of bud, <gasps> yeah, could you I can, you can grow get seeds. weed? Should, could I somehow clone the weed from just like uh, some like an eighth of weed? seeds in there, yeah. But what do the seeds look like? I've never even seen seeds. a weed seed. They're like little seeds. Really? You didn't ever have weed with seeds? You had to pick the seeds out or No, anything? my weed was so crystally. <laughs> it was uh, unbelievable. Over-engineered to it was have so no seeds somehow. Um, no, you, you sprout them like anything else. You put them on a wet, wet paper towel in a Tupperware container in your fridge. I've done it before. I've, I've grown for, it. for some reason in my mind, it's impossible to grow weed. <laughs> then you put them in little containers, and then you can plant them outside eventually. Next topic... No more weed. Um, weed sucks. We're going to start growing weed, though, guys. Should we check in on George P? I think it's fucked up. N- not this week. Okay. <laughs> uh, another uh, idiot, Cat Williams. Oh, <laughs> man. Colin, Do you have a clip in mind? What? We, I I have a quote I wanna, in mind. I, I want to watch the, the one where he talks about cows. Okay. Yeah, okay, There's we, more we can try evidence and find to that. prove that God exists than God does not exist. Colin uh, watched the Joe Rogan, um, uh, <laughs> uh, Cat Williams interview and came out the other side with the impression that Cat Williams was smart and good. Uh, I watched <laughs> yeah, not all yeah, of it, Johnny, to be who fair. Who would <laughs> expect you to like it? What do you like? I like a lot of stuff. Um, ever heard of Destiny? I yeah, love Destiny. Ever heard of Destiny's yeah. opinions? Um, n- no, but the thing about dude, what the thing, I saw the thing is that I don't give a shit, and I can like have <laughs> yeah, fun, no. and I like to hear somebody explain their own stupid. Mind. It's like I'm not not discre- being rude to Chase, but I like <laughs> like hearing the way Chase thinks yeah. and the way people that don't think the same way as I think how their brains operate or when they can actually explain their thought process. I thought it was funny. I, I for sure that thought it was fun. funny. Why I think that the... Chase yeah. <laughs> because it's an different. example of somebody he would appreciate No, I think regard. it's funny. Okay, can we listen to this? This is funny. Yeah. All right, here it is. The fact that there is a God is the biggest conversation worldwide but the truth of the matter is there is more reason for you to believe there is a god than there is for you to not the fact that it was already set up on this planet for there to be medicines for us to find and to utilize and yeah. you see what i'm saying it's like yeah. it's not like oh yeah so he made a cow no to make a cow it means you had to also have made grass and it means you would have had to have invented a whole new eating system for this animal eating which was system. Good. and that means you would you would then have to have given him three stomachs to be able to and you would have to have known that he was going to then emit a gas that was going to be Necessary. He just doesn't the believe. Planet, like, I, I, the yeah, one, the one thing I will say, what it is. Yeah. I, 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 I does not the one thing I will evolution. say is, but he does believe in like the Big Bang. When they keep going, he believes in like the Big Bang theory. Well, it's weird. I was talked to Johnny about it, and I, I was watching this clip, and Johnny said it perfectly, which is basically like every everything that cannot exist in the system doesn't exist so the only things that are left are the things that work, work within with the, the system. system 
So it's like, of course, cows can eat grass and they live off grass. Because and they release if, methane. And, and they then, couldn't uh, release yeah. gas, they yeah. die. Yeah. Or if they couldn't eat grass, they die. Yeah. Like, so mm. it's every single possible I, variation I, of I, everything I, I that, you, that you see or that could exist out there I know. doesn't exist I, I, because it, it, it doesn't it's work. It's stupid because, yeah, we get it. It's like, we, like, <laughs> like the fact that golden retrievers retrieve the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you can genetically manipulate things. We get it. And obviously, evolution. Like, that's the whole fucking well, point. Yeah. It, the whole point is that people fucking don't think of things as, like, uh, billions of years. They think of it in their, like, small, on-Earth perspective, and they need it to well, be, what's, mean what's more. Really but what I like up, about Cat Williams is that he fucking finds answers for every every question you could have, like, about ex existence or whatever. He has an answer for it, and that's what I like. He doesn't go... Yeah, like he's he's he his he has his own lore. That is cool. I just I what, what what's kind of scary about it is to me is like people on Twitter that were reposting those clips being like, this is the moment Joe Rogan like realized that Cat Williams didn't just have stoner knowledge. I'm like, dude, that is hundred yeah. percent stoner no, that, knowledge. That's literal. That's what yeah. That, what that is like, I agree that it's it's cool to listen to people who like have a way of explaining things in in like their own terms and like they arrive at their own conclusions. But I don't think it is great that a bunch of people are listening to that and think that it's like true and like an applicable way of like you know thinking about things in it, your general dude, life. It, uh, I really just don't agree with that. I think it doesn't fucking matter. Like I, I think you that when think you it doesn't when people, matter that there's a bunch of well, people no, that are people, gonna go around not but like di, because like, they're gonna not find that shit. In evolution <laughs> because of Cat Williams. Yes, it you doesn't think matter. Should just it not really doesn't fucking how, matter because those people I mean, I definitely like think don't. It matters. None of those people are. In any like position of power, yeah, they're all like just, 80 just, IQ people. It just makes, yeah, but the more that happens, the dumber everybody gets collectively. Like, the less there is responsibility to understand anything that's going on around you, like, the population is just going to decline more and more and more, like, in intelligence wise. Like, the US is already pretty fucking stupid. I don't think that people need Cat Williams, you know, and I don't, I'm not saying okay, he doesn't but, have well, a right to explain his. Per point of view, but I do think it does matter that people know, like, you know, a more, you know, generally agreed upon uh, consensus. opinion, consensus opinion scientifically. I think they should have, you know, they should be aware of that uh, as well. I think one Dude, of them is just a lot but easier those to understand. people aren't like That's doing anything, ra they're not like taking that information and like becoming radical people. Okay, yeah, I'm just no, saying to you, Colin, do you not think that it matters that people live their lives like with the wrong information? Like, no, do you because they you fucking, don't think that that's matters? What, I mean, that's what like half of religion is, right? It's like what makes you feel good or whatever, right? Uh, like what makes you okay with the processing existence? I think the, the more like intelligent and like developed worldview you have, the more equipped you'll be generally okay, and like but the more successful. The thing is you'll that I used to be. think I mean I, I still do. I like when I was like a an atheist and I was like nine, I was like, <laughs> oh religion's gonna be obsolete and this is the future and like uh, but that's it's just not for whatever reason. Everybody's I, getting dumber. I get I get what you're saying. I but I don't think it's a like and it is also it is cringe. Like I'm even like listening to myself and being like, oh well, you see, like he should we should be talking about evolution or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's also true that it's like it's not good that like saying that kind of stuff like makes you feel like you're whack or whatever, because it's a whole different like philosophy okay, but, generally for for pe for the idea of subjectivity or like empirical truth to no longer exist that everybody can live their lives under whatever terms and whatever beliefs that they have and like nothing is factual anymore like that's a real problem now. the one thing i like about cat williams though <laughs> is that if you said all this shit to him he would have like a rebuttal like i'm sure he, he would. would he would say something like he you can't stump that guy He's already thought about all this shit. Like he, he's not. It's not like that's like 
the gotcha moment. He fucking already know like it's deep. Like he's fucking smart. He thinks a lot, and I'm sure he obviously he reads a lot. He's well read. And I don't think that what he not said about stupid. cows was he, smart he, though. He, I do not think that was smart. It wasn't smart, but he is smart. And if sure. you actually listen to that podcast, you'll see that he's actually pretty fucking smart. All right. And, well, and, I'll listen to he, That's the one clip that I saw on Twitter, and I saw people parading it around like he was some sort of like modern that shit philosopher. was cringe as fuck. But I like, don't and give I a just shit. I don't think that people like. I think that it's a little depressing to see that level of knowledge be celebrated by people. Yeah, like that's what I, I don't think. That's I agree a good look. with what and you're I, saying, and, but I think you should listen to at least an hour of it, and just like a, I don't know, like appreciate that. He, first of all, he's super fucking interesting. That's why people are listening to what he has to say. Second of all, he's like, also, uh, his credibility has been boosted because a lot of his uh, conspiracy theories yes. have come I think true. Well, they're not necessarily all- true, first off. The, all the stuff, the, all the P. Diddy stuff is, uh, it's like a... Not proven civil, in the court. Well, it's a civil lawsuit as of right now. It's not even... No one's seen the photos that are uh, attached to the lawsuit or anything like that. So okay. Okay. we'll see what happens. I think I think I mean, there's no way I don't think that he could be as funny as he is and like know the shit that he does without, you know, being smart. smart. But I'm just saying that I do not personally like seeing that be touted as like some kind of like new revolution in thinking when it's kind of like yeah, that prehistoric was, I, I, knowledge. No, I completely agree with so, you. I mean, you for the someone most can be concerning. super smart and super funny. Like like a lot of comedians are super smart and super funny. But I think probably they don't have a firm grasp on like the all the theories behind evolution and stuff like that. Like that, it's just out of his wheelhouse. And I think that was a really funny and stupid thing that he said and i just thought it was just a little depressing to see the reaction on twitter because it makes me think that like because that explanation like kind okay, of but makes... there's so many like think about it like most of most people are fucking christian or religious or whatever right so whenever they like get a one up or they get like a gotcha moment they're like it doesn't matter how fucking stupid it is to everybody else they're gonna share the shit out of it because it's like, see, so like, like, uh, I don't have to. I don't even like, think though. Per- my I, I don't even know personally if it's that like attached ones. to like Christianity or anything. I more see it as like, you know, the like m- public education getting worse and worse, and like people kind of forgetting or losing touch with like yeah. basic knowledge, and so that like they see a, an explanation for like the way that the world works that is not related to like anything academic at all. And they're like, this makes sense to me. So like, I'll think this now. Yeah. Like it's that's like a- how I view it. And I, I just view it as like a, a, a failure in people's education that like nobody can critically think and like reverse engineer what he's saying with evolution in mind and like be able to insta debunk it because we, but people I, should be able to do that do in you, my opinion. I don't even think, uh, I don't even think Joe Rogan like even well, agrees he was, with him. He was he high. Just, yeah. Also. Well, Joe he Rogan. Was high. Just, well, that's the biggest. Joe Rogan just like fucking you know will go down the rabbit hole and be interested in what somebody's saying. Yeah. And, and that's, we're not that's, having the same conversation. What, and, I just didn't like the reception on Twitter. It, it made yeah, me a little bummed. I agree. But those people, it's also, those people it's are so stupid but. that they wouldn't even be able to listen to a fucking podcast to begin with. <laughs> That's true. So Only geniuses all of, listen all to podcasts. All of our audience members, good job, yeah, you guys. You guys are, are so you guys smart. Are fucking smart. Okay, one, so one smart. thing I want to, one thing on this topic, I saw this thing where uh, it was like redditors v- vote on what they think their IQ is, and it was like people were just laughing at the fact that uh, most of them said that they were above average IQ, but mm-hmm. what my belief is that. Like it or not, a redditor probably does have an above average IQ, and that there's people that are so stupid that they can't even like go on Reddit or they can't even like look for information, and all they get is like right mm. in front of them, and you don't even fucking think about it. But there's think about like all your coworkers and shit like that. They don't research anything or do you know? Like I, I actually will go out there and say research. that I think uh, so the person that is posting on Reddit. Has a above average above average IQ 
on average. You heard it here first, motherfuckers. I would, I would I, probably I agree. I would I, there's a lot of, but, but that's agree. not an own. It's not like like yeah. you can't you can't say like oh, like oh look the statistics don't add up. Like like if you're fucking somebody that's going on Reddit posting and I think it's probably like a like there's a big hump in the middle and then it and it, and then it goes out like the extremes on both sides probably aren't on Reddit too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like this, the the it's complete the horseshoe buffoons. theory. The yeah, the buffoons. the horseshoe theory of the what's Reddit, what's Reddit, and then on Reddit. Well, the horseshoe <laughs> theory is that the the ends meet. Oh, the bell in the curve. Mid- that's it. Yeah, the yeah bell sorry. Curve. Yeah, I guess I just kind of exposed myself for where I land on that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the extremes on both sides probably aren't on Reddit too much. <laughs> Reddit is um, a good tool, though. Like if. If you want some practical knowledge on something, it's like some I have awesome a skin tag on my photos. head that is disgusting, and I if I would be like, yeah, how do I remove like what's what happened like should I take the skin tag off my head? And some people are like I did it and I bled for four days, and I'll be like, yeah, okay, Reddit, I'm not gonna do that. Don't Reddit, bleed for four days. Reddit is a good resource, and I agree with Tay Do List. Tay Do List. Nine Eleven Make a Wish. Um, I I watched Naruto growing up. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It didn't make me totally freaky, mm-hmm. but it makes some people totally freaky. Are we gonna have a you chicken know? or the egg thing? And I, well, Naruto I thought, or the I hard thought drive? Goog might like Naruto, and I think that would be something fun that I could watch with Goog. But I don't want to risk. Okay, you've him heard making the, him the Naruto. You run. You've heard the way that he Naruto talks about kid. Minecraft. I know. Okay. I would. You I don't would want not, that. I would not roll the dice on that. No. Is it Naruto like a thousand episodes or something? It's a lot of episodes. Don't even open that door. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. I, do I was. That was an advice. Yep. But you like Naruto, Colin, right? Yeah. Me and, me and Colin were into. Could it could be, be fun. fun. Me and Colin turned out all right. I'm just concerned no. because we've been playing could soccer. Be weird. We've been playing soccer with Goog, and some of the time he just stands there and recites what happened the last time he played Minecraft. <laughs> And granted, we've only played Minecraft twice. He remembers, <laughs> and Dude, he's talked I about it for stuff. days. He's talked about Minecraft longer than he's played Minecraft. Literally, he remembers every fucking detail. Yes. It's actually quite impressive. Like he might be some sort of Minecraft savant, where Possibly. he like he'll be like, okay, he can't, this but he is can't what... figure out how to operate a boat in Minecraft. So, <laughs> well, he will, he'll be able to tell you every single thing about that boat. Yeah. Though he might not be he might not be a, dr- a race car driver, but he might be a race car designer, engineer, yeah. engineer. That's what they call that. Maybe, but he'll he'll tell you like we went to the house and there were three race windows. Car designer. <laughs> there were three windows. Computer designer. Computer designer. There were three Good windows man. and the and the the door was red and the carpet was checkered and then uh, next we went outside and it was raining and then I accidentally fell in a hole and Johnny dug me out like he has the whole fucking thing memorized grain man minecraft man minecraft man (laughs) he is but he needs to get his head in the game because yeah his soccer skills are not improving as quickly as they were this summer that's true he's very judgmental of my shortcomings as well (laughs) he will tell me when i make a mistake really he doesn't do that to me (laughs) he must smell weakness on you Maybe he feels sorry for you. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, that could be true. Maybe it's because I don't listen to his Minecraft stories. He's just <laughs> that is true. I listened to, to all of <laughs> he them. He did listen. I Remember, he goes, he goes, oh, call. Do you want to hear about Minecraft? And I go, no. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I just <laughs> laughed, and he laughed. What what then... else is on the to do list, Johnny? I want to hear more of your topics because you worked hard, right? No, not really. Uh, How does Niagara Falls work? <laughs> Dude, but this is where we need Cat Williams. Yeah, he would definitely have yeah, an answer for yeah. that. Call, the beauty I, I actually, of Niagara Falls. Can it, that be explained scientifically? <laughs> <laughs> where does all the water come from? <laughs> Uh-huh. That's really what I was thinking. Where does it all come okay, from? Okay, well, it comes from Canada, which is all Probably ice. look at a map. Mm. What? Yeah, but how does it go all the time? It's just gonna... <laughs> how does it go all the time? <laughs> uh, That's my so whole good. thing... Well, yeah, I came up with... Where I came does up the with, water come from? I came up with my theory. You want to hear my yeah, theory? Yeah, your theory, dude. My theory is 
all the water uh, from Niagara Falls, it falls off, right? Yeah. And then it goes all the way around the world <laughs> and then goes back over the falls. Makes sense yeah, to me. It, it uses recycling. It's, well, no, I think it's like this is a place where the ground level's different, you know, and then it's just a perfect slope all the way around somehow, and then it comes it back It comes around. from Lake Ontario, and Lake Ontario is connected to... Mountains? It's connected to the St. Lawrence River. Okay. And then the St. Lawrence River is connected to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Uh-huh. And the Gulf of St. Lawrence splits off into the Northwest Atlantic Ocean... And which connects all the way around wait, the world, which also c- is connected to what is this? So is Lake Ontario uh, just leaking? Like, it's just water. Is it going to run out of water eventually because of this whole Niagara I think, thing? I think technically it is all it is all connected. Yep, the whole thing is connected. So, so Johnny, I'm kind of right. I think you're. I think you're correct. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Wow. Thank I would... you, Makita. Wow. Thank you, Makita, guys. Can we get, <laughs> can we get some claps? For sponsoring this science for, can moment. We, can we get some claps for Makita? Guys, Makita. Buy Makita because they're not Ryobi. Ryobi? Fuck, fuck Ryobi. Fuck Ryobi. We, fuck. All my homies hate Ryobi. Fuck Burn your Ryobi. Ryobi. Burn Ryobi. <laughs> yeah, we hate Ryobi. <laughs> Makita's so cool. It's such a better color, too, than Ryobi green. It's a little it upgrade. Is. God, yeah. it's it's so fucking much. hate Ryobi <laughs> so bad right now. <laughs> Understand crazy. Understood. You should respond to their email. I was wondering, how long have you guys been doing the podcast now? God, like two years. Yeah. That's At actually least. fucking crazy. Right? Yeah. Because it sucks so bad no, still, we, or like... Uh, we haven't blown up. Because so we haven't... Fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? This actually is a good transition into our new thing we're going to be doing here on World Genius. Praying is, for uh, our success? Praying. <laughs> first of all, we did pray before the podcast. Um, I mean, I think... But second of all, we are we are going to be producing... more successful Anybody we know we in for. our real lives... <laughs> That wants to do a podcast, we're gonna let them use our studio, our equipment, and uh, Johnny's gonna be the producer. Okay, this is not the time for this, guys. Fuck. We're gonna. This is an end of the show thing. You gotta we're go not, through the. Beam. I think the show's ending. So, I Johnny, do you care to care about my thing that I'm talking about? That you yeah. Care about okay. Too? No, I would. I okay. This was a joint idea that we've had for a long time. We want to make it reality. We've got we want people, to bring people's dreams to reality. We've got so many people that have talked about uh, starting a podcast that we know, and there's a big there. We understand. We understand that it's hard to get off the ground as a podcast. So we want to remove all barriers possible to make it as easy as possible for these. Random, random idiots. Anybody, idiots. <laughs> anybody <laughs> we're moderately podcast. comfortable with being inside of our studio. I'm going to me, start producing. it's entertaining. When somebody tells me, I want to start, I'm oh, we're going to start a podcast, or I hear that on Instagram so or whatever, I go, ooh, like, I, like, when is this coming out? And then it never fucking comes out. So no, I'm pushing people that, that I've heard say that in the past. To record in here for my own entertainment. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be standing right there watching. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I think I want to start one. Yeah, with my wife. Really? Wouldn't that be interesting? And we can give marriage advice. <laughs> the two <laughs> quietest people yes. in the world. Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> and I like that. It's like and, a and bedtime, we'll just look at each other. <laughs> yeah, you guys you are can, quiet, and, and you'll so, know. Yeah, that's just, that's oh, beautiful, man. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as you're falling asleep, uh, you can answer this question. <laughs> yeah, it's an ASMR podcast. Married couple ASMR. Wow. Oh, okay. that's so cute. Actually. We'll we'll definitely fit you into yeah. the studio this week. Did yeah, you, we'll uh, just. I need a. All studio appointments come with the free Andrew. Yeah. Well, no, I'll I'll, I'll be producing. Oh. Yeah. Right, you're off, going you're off the edit. hook, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. I want I want I want to produ- I want to be like I want to have produced by Johnny. <laughs> 
on that on all of, I want my name attached to all Can this. Can you put those like subscribe buttons on yeah, your, the screen? Yeah. I'm gonna make it so gnarly. And we'll have it well we will not per we will not promote anything, but we'll have like a Discord channel where we post the podcasts that are recorded in our studio. We're making a podcast now. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh my um, Colin, you get to try yeah, too. You're here. So we do this new game where we try and get the thing on there. But don't oh, make oh, it or oh, we'll be on, on, it, it. on yeah. it. Yeah, you need it on it. Uh, we're going to probably maybe speed this up like 500 times. If anyone oh, says anything or anything. What, what's uh, Sarah up to who is on the podcast? One of the first ones. Uh, I don't know. I haven't talked to her in a while. but uh, I don't know either. That could happen again. Maybe. That could happen. I was just thinking about that. Okay. I just I remember try, she try. she said Sublime was bad, and I I completely disagree. Oh, really? Whoa. I, okay. I've never so been a your, Sublime what, guy myself. I, okay. But, but so what's I wouldn't say they're bad. I what, they got over like they got overhated for sure. I think no, so bad, that once you so just bad. accept your OC, <laughs> your <laughs> orange orange county ness. They, they embrace they the OC. Great. You're saying so what's no, your favorite sublime song that I would know? Oh really? Oh my god, Colin's ripping the butter beer. Ooh, the syrup. Hitting the syrup. Mimi. I don't know. Nice. Dude, dude, you don't realize that I'm closer than it looks. Dude, my dude, angle that. is so far. Right yeah. here. Dude, you can hit in that little corner right there. What the fuck was fuck that? Fuck you, man? Johnny. You fucking suck. <laughs> you haven't made Sir, one I yet, I shithead. <laughs> fuck me, man. Oh, it's behind Colin. <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, that was fucking it. No, no it wasn't. No, oh. no, no, no. You no. gotta have it. It has to have a soft in it. Right here, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought that was it. Oh, oh my god. lord! Oh dude. my god! Get some of the soft touch. Oh my dude, this guy's airballing. That was too soft. It just Bruh, ends. you don't realize. <laughs> as Bruh. soon as it lands, that it just ends. Overshot. Oh god. yeah, exactly. Oh. I want it to die as it. Oh! 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 I wish we were a bunch of Korean guys when we reacted <laughs> to that. <laughs> that would be way funnier. Oh, uh, no, why is no, that? No. Because they go, ooh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> if you must know. That's what Andrew's going to do. <laughs> oh, man. Two. Two. Oh! oh! Wow, Colin number oh. one. That's a cool one down for Colin. <laughs> Dang, yeah. Holy shit. Wow. You have to come over every time now and try to re retain your throne. Wait, Andrew has two rebuttal shots, though. I'll come over for <laughs> that and to make no, sure no, that. Wait, no, Kelsey's. <laughs> Get wow. down. All right, let's go watch the fights. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in. We love you. Uh, we love you. Have fun. Bye.